Assalamualaikum and good evening to everyone. So, my name is Muhammad Farid bin Zimin. My metric number is BB2211057. So, tonight we going to discuss about our vlog. And I want to hear uh, your, your topic about... Eh, eh. <coughs> Apa aku mau cakap tadi? Okay, dah balik. Sorry guys, sorry guys. Ketua tak kot ni. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <coughs> Assalamualaikum and very good evening to everyone. My name is Muhammad Farid Yazimin. My metric number is BB2211057. So tonight, we going to discuss about our vlog. Uh, so, we already discussed about our team that is health and nutrition and each of us have to pick one topic and we already discussed right about what we want to pick and this is my template i going to pick nasi bujang as my topic uh, so this I'm going to explain a little about my template and my vlog. Uh, Subtopic, what I'm going to show in my vlog is, I'm going to introduce nasi bujang and some ingredient how to make nasi bujang. Uh, to make a nasi bujang, I have to, we have, we need nasi putih. A uh, rice, uh, egg, and cucumber. And in my vlog, I going to tell the benefit about nasi bujang because what nasi bujang is one of the cheapest food. So, uh, as a student, we can can eat nasi bujang every day because it's cheap. So next. I want to hear about uh, Dayang Nurhazika template. Hello guys and Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Dayang Nurhazika. Since our topic about health and nutrition, uh, today I want to share about my template. Uh, is it about food? And the food is quinonia. Uh, as we know, uh, mm, ah, uh, wait. Uh, in 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 the introduction, uh, in my blog, I will describe about the origin and about the quinonia first need uh, and the second is the ingredient so in my blog i will describe the ingredient to make the quinonia uh, and the next is uh, how to make quinonia there's a many type of quinonia there and the the uh, the and there is many way to uh, to to prepare the quinonia such, such as as baking, uh, fried and steam. And the last is uh, the types of quinonia. In my blog, uh, basic on this template, I will describe and I will show the types of Quinonia and there's many types of quinonia. That's all from me. And the next is okay. Thank you, Azika. Next, I want to hear about for Jovina Steven template. My voice clear, guys. Okay. Yes. myself first 
My name is Pujarana Stephen and my num matrix number is BB220373. So now I want to to show you guys about my my template with nasi lemak. So as you guys know, nasi lemak is Asian food cuisine, Malay cuisine that especially um, we found it here in Malaysia, Singapore, and Indonesia. Template. I will um, I will share about the ingredients of nasi lemak, the um, how to preparation of nasi lemak, and the types of nasi lemak uh, nutritional value. So, so in in my vlog, I also. Uh, so the ingredients of nasi lemak such as ra la like rice, cucumber, peanuts, and and something like that. As we guys know, because we always um, eat nasi lemak in uh, throughout the day, every day in our life. If we want to to eat the, it is uh, like breakfast during breakfast, during um, lunch, and more. So how to prepare this nasi lemak is so easy. So this um, like cook rice with coconut coconut meal, uh, prepare the ch chili anchovies and more. So that's all from me, thank you. Okay, thank you, Poja. So next, I want to hear about Naziha template. Um, hello, my name is Nur Najiha binti Abdul Latif and my nom metric uh, BB2211674 uh, So So now uh, I would like to choose Laksa Pinang uh, because laksa is also one of the favorite foods in today's society. The basic taste combination are spicy plus healthy, complex and umami on the two, with distinct herbal fragrance. There are also some common ingredients that you simply uh, cannot do without. Luckily, uh, you can actually find all you need for any laksa recipe, recipe in uh, Asian groceries and supermarket in Australia. So warm up your winter days with your favorite laksa at home. As a conclusion, laksa pinang is served with cucumber slice, um, salad leaf. It's and served with fish let gravy giving a combination of sweet and spicy so flavor making this food apple to laksa etosis as well as outdoor tourists. Uh, is it evident to see the unique of this fish where each state has its own version of laksa even though some of them have almost at the same taste. But with its diversity of laksa version and historically rich origin make, make it uh, an interesting story how food can unite different cultures. That, that's all from me. Thank you. Okay, next I want to hear about Salwani template. Hi everyone, uh, so today I will discuss about my blog. So I will share a little bit about sate. Sate is a food that food uh, that from South Asia is originally from Indonesia, um, and uh, that is made by seasoned and squirt and grilled meat and served with a peanut peanut sauce. And it's a compound with the lontong or can say rice cake in Malaysia. 
with nasi pulut ang. People like to eat with that. So the ingredient of the satay is, uh, firstly, the most important is we should have the meat. So for example, satay, we, we can use many meat like uh, lamb, chicken, and for the non-Muslim, is maybe have a pork. Satay maybe and garlic, lemongrass, and uh, peanut, and the sauce. So to prepare satay, Firstly, uh, we should cut the meat lah for so, uh, with the small small pieces lah for the uh, for the screw uh, to grill it. And then after that, uh, we season it with the like lemongrass, carrot, or anything lah. After that, after the then we grill in the flame grill. With the the pool. <laughs> so um, and lastly, recommendation. I think uh, I think satay is the most popular lah in Malaysia. Then we can when we go to pasar malam, we can see eh uh, many seller sell the satay. So it's a uh, popular among Malaysian, not just to Muslim, maybe to the non-Muslim. That's all for me. Thank you. Okay, thank you for sal- to Salwani. And I want to ask, do you guys have any addition about your template? No? Okay, but I have addition a little. Uh, nasi Bujang is the cheapest food because the price is around two ringgit and three ringgit and recommendation about this food so uh, i want to reco- recommend this food in my blog i want to recommend to student because we know right uh, our life in college is a little uh, so hard to save money so I want to recommend to students to always eat nasi bujang because it if you eat nasi bujang you can save money. So if you guys don't have any addition, we going to end our discussion. Okay, thank you for thank you for coming and that's all for our discussion, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.